Hey guys, it's me Andrew Sawyer with another Pokemon pack opening. And no, I'm just kidding. It's not really. I did that twice. You're probably not tricked though. I don't know. Um, it's at least expected that I'll get Pokemon stuff. Speaking of Pokemon stuff, I don't have it. I have just kidding. I have a pack right here. It's called my wallet. Um, I'm stupid with this. Uh. I'm getting more money for, I think there is a, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a Gardens Rising Booster Box, and I have a, like, because one of the reasons, like I said before, is, um, I'm pretty sure I said it before, um, oh, I have to go to the bathroom at the worst time, uh, let me try to finish this video, not incredibly quick, but, um, like I said before, one time, um, let's see, wait, let me put this right, wait, no, I bet the quality is horrible, it's like, <laughs> Or whatever. Wait a minute. I, I'm pretty sure you can hear me. I'm just have to use my little safe again so the quality will be a little better. Um, right now I'm not trying to show off. I'm just literally just trying to show you um how much money I need. I only need a little more. I got twenty five dollars for my mom for doing chores and stuff. Here's the uh twenty. Here it is. It's real. It has the watermark thing. I don't know. The little hidden thing. Wait. It's right there. You can't really see it, but it's supposed to be, like, right there. But, yeah, it is real. And it has, like, the little weird code thing on the back. With the, all the little 20 signs. And then I got, um, I got $25 if you, if I do five chores really good a week. And then here's the five, so crap. And no, I'm not con counterfeiting, so that would be stupid to think. Uh, anyway, um, this, um, push this back. Okay, there. That was $25, and I got these $2. I forgot what I got it from. I think it was just some other chores. So I have $27. I need $40. Maybe like two bucks for cat like taxes in case, and then I want to actually get at least ten or twelve dollars and try to uh buy because um at Target I don't think that's copyrighted, but at Target uh there is a little um section just for like Pokemon cards and other cards, and that's where I get the little binder pages to fill all that stuff up. Probably can't even see my mouth. Um. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, about the, uh, about the one thing, what was it again, um, yeah, like, there's slightly older packs that have been already, like, opened and stuff, and it has Ancient Origins, I think it has some more XY stuff in there, I do wanna open, but I think they're more expensive since they're a lot older, I wanna open some Legendary Treasures packs, because I learned, because I already knew, but I didn't know which booster pack it came from, but anyways, um, or what series or set it came from. But, um, I figured it out, but I already knew what the cards were and how they existed. It was the, um, Gold Zekron, Gold Reshiram, and then I think the other set, it wasn't in the same set, but another set, um, had the, uh, Silver, I think it was called Gaelia or something, Galilea. I don't know, but it was something like that. But it, I'm not, I'm just talking about the gold cards. That would be incredibly hard to find. But, and the booster packs are expensive, but they aren't actually at Target since they're obviously old. So, I don't know how I'm going to get that. If there's, because there's not really a card store around here, like with old packs and new packs and stuff. I'd have to go look around because, like, GameStop. Maybe back in the time where the Legendary Treasures were just brand new, GameStop, like, a lot of Pokemon collectors like me would just hear those gold cards and then they'd rush to GameStop and see if they're popular. They're not exactly as popular since they're older and hard to get. Obviously more expensive since they don't sell them anymore. They want to sell the new stuff. That's why card stores have old packs. Like, heck, they even have old packs from um, the 2000s and the 19... Uh, the late 1990s, like the um, 
first edition jungle one packs aren't for you and these. I don't know. Um, I'm not like completely into that kind of stuff. But I still need I'm not saying donate. You can donate. I think I have to like have a computer and do a lot of complex stuff. But I'm not saying donate because you won't, because that's stupid. But I'm gonna get a little more money to hopefully get I'm pretty I'm I'm hoping it exists. I'm pretty sure it exists. It should exist. Uh, the uh, Guardians Rising uh, Elite Trainer Box. Now I just carefully shove my hard um, cash, hard work cash, whatever. I also took some stuff out of my uh, wallet here. I'm also selling, and I'm, I'm not selling it to you, I'm selling it to GameStop. Hopefully, today I'm selling a. Uh, not selling Minecraft. I mean, I would because my PS3 killed itself. Like when I was playing Minecraft a little bit, I don't play it that much. I didn't even play it that much during that time. I would mostly play Grand Theft Auto or just watch YouTube all the time. But um, wait, let me be calm here. Anyways, uh, in the PS3, when I was randomly playing Minecraft when I just started, it just instead turned off and it was like, Ey! and it was like beep music beep, and you're like, wait, like. It blinked a uh, red light a bunch of times, and then I kept on trying. I was like, oh, dang. Either someone, like, reported me in the PS3 console, because I heard on, like, some rules, uh, any interference with some object must be interfered with. Like, if you got banned from an Xbox or PS3, they could actually basically kill your uh, system, or it just randomly fry itself. I don't know. But, uh, I would sell the Minecraft since I can't even play it, and I don't even play it anymore. It, um, I think this is copyrighted as well. Um, let's see. Um. Yeah, I think I can say it. It's the, um, Call of Duty World at War game in... Like it says, it says respectful to their owners. I love Call of Duty, the new Battlefield, or not, that's Battlefield. I don't own Battlefield at either. I, I don't know really the companies, but they're really cool companies because I like uh, first person, I can say that. I like first person shooter games, but like I said, the PS3 killed itself. I did not own that either, just to just realize I have to say that too. And I do not own Minecraft either. So, yeah, I don't own any of those stuff. I'm not trying to get copyrighted. I don't think that's copyrighted. But, yeah, I'm just trying to sell that stuff. And then I'm going to sell my most favorite game of all time because I already played it. And I literally got every single thing. And I'm about to say, and you're probably, if you actually are a true fan of this game, I got all the Skolotas, got all the heart pieces. And what I'm about to say is I'm going to sell, and I do not own it either. That's by Awesome Nintendo. This is my favorite game. Credit to all those who did it. The Legend of Zelda, it's already, I'm pretty sure it's backwards, because when I look on the camera, it looks backwards, but it's the yeah, Legend of Zelda game. All okay, coming time to complete all of that. I like the game, but I completed it. I did everything you could do in the game. Not slash every single bush in the game, but I did everything you could do. So I'm going to sell that. I'm going to, I also have Majora's Mask, which is the direct sequel. But if you're a true Zelda fan, there's the split timeline. It's a confusing thing. If you don't know what it's Zelda, you should play it. It's awesome. Not sponsored. Um, anyway, I'm going to complete that game. I'm on one of the final dungeons. I haven't completed everything. I'm just going to first complete the game kind of regularly. Then I'm going to do everything. Then I'm going to sell it. Get more Pokemon packs, obviously. Um, you see little black dots flying around here? That's because some stupid flies... It's not really summer anymore, but for some reason the flies, like barely any flies, like were here in the summer. But for some reason they're more here starting in the fall. It's really annoying. Like we even got like this magnetic closing door thing where you like, um, it's like kind of like black mesh, and you kind of put the um, there's a bunch of like blocky magnets, and you put them by each other, and it's like, they're, like really close, and they feel stuff. I don't know. I'm bad at explaining things, but, uh, we got that, and there's, like, a little, like, hole, it's not, like, tears, but, like, some of the Velcro, like, the stickiness fell off, so, like, there's a little, like, 
like little exposure to it, but they're still getting in all over my freaking face. Stupid, we gotta fly it this one. Stupid, one of my freaking bed. They're annoying. They're very stupid. But, um, anyway, uh, they're so annoying. Um, didn't it, yeah, I'm pretty sure I already showed it on camera how I made these yesterday because my mom and stuff were gone, so I made these. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure I did. But, um, it was a mummy one, and then, like, Stuff as I wanted to, so I guess so. Once it like gets really fall, I'll put some fall decorations in here. But uh, I guess it's the beginning of fall. It's still September, but when it becomes October, um, I'm actually gonna get some air quotation spooky stuff just to kind of make it cool back there. I don't know. Uh. Anyways, that's much of it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have still 12 to 13 or 11 subscribers. And I said on the 30th, um, if I don't, um, oh, sure. heck, I'll even give you one. Um, here you go. So, if you were a Pokemon coach and you thought my show or thought my videos were stupid and ex out of it early, well, that sucks because you didn't get the code. You are Pokemon Collector or anything you want to start it because of me or anyone else, and you have that as a starter code or something, well, good for you. Um, anyways, I was set, like I said before, and it, see, look how thick this is. Let me kind of move this. That's very thick. I opened a lot of packs in under a year. I mean, true people would have, like, Maybe six of these stacked up to be a, like a year or even twice that amount. I don't know. But uh, I guess I'll raise the time. I'm just gonna, every, because I'm not gonna do it. And heck, I might even play the game and just win a few codes and tell them. But you guys aren't gonna get a bunch of codes if you guys aren't subscribing. So I'll subscribe, okay? Possibly even like this video. No. Just at least subscribe. If I get at least 20 subscribers, I'm gonna give away. Heck, I'll give away 10 of these. By the time we get to 30, I'm gonna give every single last one. And then the new ones I get welled out, I'm gonna keep that there and goad it up until it's like this again. Then it's gonna be a giveaway. So it's like the September giveaway or something like that. Um, and then the only reason I put this thing on here, I think I explained it already, but I'll explain it once more. Kind of like those cash things when you have a thick amount of cash and I just throw it away. If it wasn't backwards, it says giveaway codes. Anyway, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, subscribe, leave a like, and comment what I should do next. So, bye guys. Bye. Hopefully no cringy thumbnail like I always say. Bye.